there was one ray of hope, the new 700, which went into production in 1959. Based on the odd Iadar based 4 passenger 600, but with a smart new, and conventional, 3 box body designed by the Italian firm Nicolotti, the rear engine 700 sedan and coupe offered something a bit different in the class dominated by the VW Beetle. It was smaller than the VW, and had only a two-cylinder boxer derived from BMW's motorcycles, but it was sporty and appealing, to some, anyway. The 700 didn't sell in any significant numbers, 181k in six years, but it generated enough enthusiasm among BMW's dealers and shareholders to vote down an effort by Deutsche Bank to sell BMW to Mercedes, essentially a liquidation. Quom decided to invest further in BMW. It may have been the 700 as well as the pleading objections of the workforce and dealers. But the critical factor was likely seeing the early drawings for this very car, well, strictly speaking, the smaller engine but otherwise identical 1500 model. So against the recommendation of his bankers and advisors, he increased his stake to 50% thus financing the new mid-sized sedan to production. That bold gamble made his family one of the richest in the world. And this car created the whole modern BMW legacy, the Proto Bimmer. It's the first, if not the ultimate driving machine.